With the launch of iOS 5, Apple has ushered in a program called iMessage. And what iMessage is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you the ability to text message other iOS device users. Today, we're going to show you how to use iMessage. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select settings, and then we're going to scroll down to message. This way we can turn iMessage on. One thing you'll notice is that there are two options on this page. There's iMessage and then SMS slash MMS. If you want to send an iMessage, this is to other iOS users, people with an iPod Touch, an iPad, or an iPhone running iOS 5. At the bottom, you're going to have SMS and MMS messages. These are text messages to people that are not iOS 5 users. So now that you have iMessage turned on, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up an Apple ID. An Apple ID is important because this is not only a link to iTunes, but it also helps you set up additional email addresses so that you can send iMessages between your devices. For example, from an iPad to an iPhone running iOS 5, and also from iPhone to iPhone running iOS 5. One thing I wanted to mention is that your Apple ID is not only associated with a phone number, but it can also be associated with multiple email addresses. This way, if someone wants to send you an iMessage, they can put your phone number in or one of your email addresses. Once we have iMessages set up, what's next? Simply launch messages and begin typing a user's name, their phone number, or their email address. One thing I wanted to point out is that when you type in a person's name, you will notice that the message will turn to blue. This indicates that they are on iOS 5 and you are sending an iMessage. If you type in a user's contact information and the message turns green, this means you're sending a standard text message and standard text messaging rates apply. So let's show you how to send an iMessage from an iPad to an iPhone. To get started, launch the Messages app and begin typing a user's name. As you can see here, the message says sent from iPad, test. When I click the send button, my message will turn blue, noting that it is an iMessage. As you can see, the iMessage has also been sent to my iPhone. As always, thanks for watching.